of a bunch of trees. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, we're good. We're good. Uh oh, no, we're not good. Okay, I gotta get through here. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Beam and G Drive. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today we are back with a brand new update in this game. And look at this, we have a brand new car. This is the Charrier, and there are a ton of configurations for this car. This is actually the rally version of it. And yeah, we're gonna be checking that out. And we're also gonna be checking out what you're seeing in the background. Uh, this is Small Island, which yes, I know you're probably thinking, well, we've seen this map before, but this thing has been completely remastered. Uh, similar to what they did to Utah a couple months back. And yeah, there's new locations. Everything just looks a whole lot cleaner, and uh, we're going to be tearing around these roads here in a minute, too. So, there's a third thing to the update, which I don't know how much of it we're going to be able to cover uh, past the new cars, but we have a couple remasters here, too. So, the D-Series, the Roamer, and the H-Series have all seen a bit of a remaster. There's new configurations, new parts, and uh, yeah, I'm really glad that they're going back and cleaning up some of these older vehicles. So, I don't know how much of these we're going to check out. I think we're going to stick it to the new map and to the new car. But definitely in future episodes, we'll go and check some of these out too. So, you're probably asking yourself, well, what other configurations does the Charrier have? And we're going to click into it here. And actually, I think it's going to load up the uh, street version. So, this is your base model. Oh, let's go and look inside of it real quick. Ooh, I kind of like the interior on this. You got the nice little GPS system there. I like the greens. Wait, this can't be the base model. This looks like an upgraded version because look at the interior. This looks a little ridiculous. Oh, I think that was. No, never mind. It loaded up this one, the uh, DCT. So the base model is this one. <laughs> I was about to say, this is a pretty fancy car. And oh, you know what? This interior looks pretty nice. So yeah, you've got that. You've got some more base models, some off-road versions of it. You've got police cars. Uh, you've got rally cars, a touring car, a hill climb. Uh, I think there's even an electric one here. Yeah, you've got the E model here. So very impressive selection with this car. So yeah, I think we're going to take the rally version of this out for a spin. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this car. Do you like it? I, I think I do. The front end's taking a little bit to get used to. Uh, but other than that, I think it's actually a pretty sweet looking car. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying BMG on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let's go for a little test drive. All right, let's get moving. Actually, I should probably find some sort of dirt road for this. Ooh, that's a nice view. Actually, we better do third person for this. So there's another part of the update called driving dynamics. Uh, we're probably not gonna really touch that here today because I need to learn a little bit more about it before I start really talking about it. But let me find a nice little dirt path or something. Ooh, we could start here. This looks pretty good. Oh, yes. So yeah, I want you guys to listen to this. Hear the crackle when I shift. This thing sounds sweet. So uh, let's go and go three, two, one, go. Uh, <laughs> it's so satisfying and oh, I'm gonna destroy it already. There we go. All right, I probably should have picked a road because we're gonna end up in the water. Oh no! <laughs> well, that didn't take long for Komodo to destroy that. Nice job. Hold on, there's gotta be a sweet like dirt section to this map. I don't know, I feel like some of these configurations are gonna work better on other maps like Utah uh, for maybe Rally and then maybe some of the faster street versions would be the uh, West Coast, but I don't know. This looks like a pretty good trail here. Oh, let's start up here. All right, we've got a nice dirt trail to rip up here. All right, let's try not to embarrass ourselves. Oh dear. Okay, on. Try not to kill the engine. Keep it running. Oh, this is very, very nice. Uh, this would be perfect with the wheel and- Oh no, the thing goes off! Okay, no, we're good, we're good. We're totally good. We're gonna- Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, that's a tree. Hey! Uh, I landed in a tree. <laughs> that was not a good idea. So, maybe rallying is not my thing? Actually, let's go back to the hood cam. I feel like I'm more effective in this cam opposed to the other ones. And go around here. Alright, this feels a little bit better. I'm able to see what I'm doing. Oh, hold on, brakes, 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 brakes. There we go. Yes! I'm so much better in this cam. I know it's not the funnest to watch. A lot of people like to see the whole car, but when it comes to like racing games, it's either the cockpit 
or the uh, the hood cam is where I have to be. Like, I can't really be anywhere else, and uh, this is making it a little bit easier to drive. Oh, still uh, hitting some bumps and stuff. <laughs> it's amazing how much this car grips. Like, we're on the dirt. We should be sliding around and, oh, flying off like that. But it actually, it grips and it catches and you can just point the nose wherever it wants to go. And it, it's got so much acceleration, it's actually really insane. All right, it's going to be hard to beat this car. Uh, maybe the touring car version? But yeah, let's do that and let's try to stick to the asphalt here. All right, so we have the touring car version. I need to find asphalt. Actually, look at this. This is a new area, is it not? So we have a full-blown dock. Looks like fishing pier. Oh, look at this. There's a boat launching ramp. Uh, are you serious? We could have used this last episode when we played with the, uh, the yacht car. Hold on, what's that over there? Is that just a pier? Or... Wait, there's a... Wait, what's the point of this? Okay, so it looks like a sweet jump. But it it's only like a lead up of maybe 50 feet. <laughs> You're not going to get that much speed, but that's cool looking. Uh, yeah, that and the water looks a little bit different. I wonder if they've changed some of the water visuals. It's actually quite pretty. All right, I need to crank this bad boy back up. We're not here to stare at the water. We're here to uh, drive fast and crash a lot. So go crank it back up. All right, so touring car. And oh, it just backed it in. <laughs> and it just died immediately. I kind of really want to hook this up to my uh, racing simulator and just drive around Beam and G in a, uh, a racing cockpit because I feel like this would be really, really fun to do. Did I break something? This thing doesn't feel like it wants to turn. Uh, okay, let's stick to the roads and let's test this one out. I've always got to test out like the really fast race car versions of everything before I go to like the street stuff because it's just the way I am. I, I love stuff like this. Oh, this is really nice feeling. I'm being really cautious though because this road is really, really not wide at all. Uh-oh, okay, go up here. Feeling pretty good, a lot of grip still. Oh, and we're flying in the air. No, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we're gonna lose a little bit of downforce now that the rear wing is gone. All right, uh, do we really need that? I mean, I'm pretty sure we do. You know, I really, really want to spawn an AI now. I want to dodge them and I want to actually get into a police chase because this touring car feels really nice. All right, AI is spawned in. We'll see how the uh, the map handles it. See if they are good here or if they're idiots. I don't know, I feel like since it's been redone, they probably did something with the AI traffic here. All right, let's look for a cop here to tick off. Hello, anybody? Uh, wait, where are my police at? Oh, we got an unmarked cruiser here. Wait, did the road just end? What is this? No, it seems like the... Wait, it's a bird research station. Wait, okay, they're mad at me now. I don't know, it's like the AI was confused there, but yeah, the road definitely goes on. Okay. Uh, we've got them behind us. I don't know how good this map's gonna be for police chases, to be honest with you. Like, I like it. It's a challenge to drive, but I, I think it's just that. It's a challenge to drive. It's fun to make laps around here, but uh, dodging cop cars on a really, really thin road is not the greatest. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just going to ease by you here. Are you serious? Nope, we're good. <laughs> uh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Uh, dodge him. Uh, go to the inside here. Jeez, they keep spawning right on top of me. Wait, one thing I've noticed. It seems like, have they switched the spawns up? Because it used to get a lot of cop cars, especially when they're aggroed on you, spawn in the way you're driving. And they have to do that annoying thing where they turn around and it just takes them forever to get going again. Like, I don't see that anymore. Uh, I feel like they've spawned uh, behind me or they spawned in front of me, but it doesn't look like they're doing the thing where they're turning around, which is actually a good thing because it's rather annoying. Uh, hold on, let's go, let's go. No, we don't want to go this way. No, I just killed it. Huh, come on, crank it back up. Wait, no, I'm going to get stuck down here. Okay, uh, we need to rip the e-brake again. Okay. There we go. I feel like we've covered about all the roads already. We need to somehow get to the middle of the map. And Oh, where's this cop going to go? Oh, no, I didn't see this one. Okay. <laughs> First gear. Uh, yeah, this is not what you're supposed to be doing with the touring car, but we're doing it. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, we just flipped. Uh, I need to set this thing up. 
Uh, okay, so we're in the middle of the map. I forget truly how small small island is. Uh, isn't there a town somewhere in here? Or at least a small one? I could be completely wrong. Uh, hold on, let's go this way. All right. I still have the cops mad, so we need to somehow end this. I mean, technically, I just crashed back there. But let me see if I can get moving. Come on, pull over to the right. <laughs> uh, touring cars are not meant for this. I mean, if I could switch to the hill climb real quick, that would be something. Hold on, let's see. Can we pull over? Here, we might have a chance here. Okay, let's go switch. Car. About to hit a tree. Uh, hill climb, hill climb right here. Let's check this thing out. I imagine this is going to be a beast. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Yep, there might be too much power here for Komodo. Dude! Oh, no! <laughs> this car is too fast for Small Island. Uh, watch out. All right, I've gotten lost. I'm, like, lost in the middle of a bunch of trees. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, no, we're not good. Okay, I got to get through here. Uh, I think we're going uphill. Yeah, this is perfect. Hill climb. Uphill. Uh, oh, get over here. Oh, I'm trying to edge through here. I don't know where the cops are. Uh, uh oh, no, don't flip. Okay, we just pitted that car. <laughs> All right, there is too much car here for me to handle. <laughs> I feel like we can switch to another one. Let's check out another version of it real quick. All right, so I feel like we've tried out all the real, like, fast ones. Maybe we should go to something potentially that's electric. This is a dual-motor, all-wheel-drive electric crossover. Oh, let's look at this. Uh, this thing might be a little... Oh, I don't like those rims, but... Oh, here we go. It's so quiet. Question it. Oh, <laughs> just dented the car. How fast... Did okay. <laughs> Komodo, your driving talent's gone this episode. Now that I said that, it's like I'm implying I actually had driving talent. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is odd. I never get used to, like, the way uh, the electric motors sound. I mean, or lack of sound. It's always confusing to me. Like, I love the sound of motors. I love the sound of pipes, uh, the growling. So that's why in real life, I don't think I could ever drive an electric car, but I'm pretty sure eventually we will all be driving them. Uh, maybe I could just play the sound of a motor in the background. That'd probably make me feel a little bit better. Whee! <laughs> oh, that's a bunch of trees. Okay. Well, I really do like this map, but there's very limited possibilities for it because obviously it's a, it's a small map. There's not much to it, but it's really nice to see it remastered. But to truly test everything else out, we're going to move to another map. All right, so we're on a little bit bigger map, and we're going to check out another version of this. And then I think I'm actually going to go check out uh, maybe some of the D-Series uh, configurations. Uh, they have a new 1985 pre-facelift part. I guess it just makes it look like an older truck. I'll have to go check and see what that's all about. But let's grab this. Uh, we haven't checked out one of the police versions of this. Ooh, look at that. That's really aggressive. Now, one thing that's a little disappointing, I know it is a European car, but I still wanted to see, like, an American... Uh-oh! That was rather embarrassing. All right, like I was saying, yeah, it would have been nice to see an American version of this uh, car, or at least an American police one, but I kind of understand why it's not there. Oh, would you look at that? The police are mad at me. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, okay, let's see. Wait, where are they at? Uh, I'm looking for them. I hear them. Oh, they're on that side of the highway. Well, what good is that going to do you, being over there? All right, here we go. Bye, losers. Okay, everybody's turned that way. No, this is good. So it's like we're playing police versus police. Uh, there's another one stopped. Yeah, they've definitely... Oh, no, 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 don't do that, no. Okay. Yep, I slid one way to avoid them, and then I overcorrected back the other way, and then turned right in front of them. Oh, is this... Oh, yeah, it's dead. Oh, it's really dead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I guess since we got stopped there, uh, we can go ahead and move on to something else. So let's go ahead and look at one of the D-series. So this looks like the original one up here. Oh, were they talking about... Hold on, we might have to play around with the parts. I think they're talking about this version here, this uh, front end. Yeah, look at that. That looks like an older uh, truck there. Hold on, let's go ahead and look at some of the parts, maybe. Okay, so yeah, going through a lot of the pieces now, I can see a lot of the new stuff they've added. 
Uh, so yeah, you've got two different styles of the D series now. This is one of them. And of course, you got the more classic looking style that we're all used to. It took me a little bit to go over these, uh, but looking at the patch notes and going back and looking at some of the new front ends, uh, you can definitely tell some of the older style front ends. All right, so here we go. This might give you a little bit better idea as to how the front ends that look a little bit different. So yeah, I definitely like uh, the other style. This style here uh, is okay, but I like the uh, one on the other truck there. So yeah, you saw the front ends of those cars. Check this out. This is a new configuration too. Uh, this is using some of the new military parts. And Oh, that didn't come out the right color, did it? Hold on, let's try that again. Uh, I want this nice tan version of it. All right, let's try this again. There we go. That's what I wanted. Ah, look at that. That's actually pretty cool looking. Uh, I like the front end on that a lot. I'm pretty sure we could push a couple cops out of the way with this brush guard on the front. Uh, let's go find one real quick. Uh, buddy, looks like we have a cop up here. Here we go. We got a couple. Wait, what are they doing? Uh, are they already turning around to get me? Wait, this is just a cluster of them. Hold on. Uh, let's go ahead and nudge this one. There you go. That make you mad? Hold on, how did that not make you mad? Oh, we got to turn around and... Uh, maybe jack with them a little bit more. I like the two antennas on this car. It looks kind of cool. Uh, we're going to catch up and we're going to rear in this cop up here. Uh, well, something's going to make him mad. All right, here we go. And come on. No? Are you serious? Uh, maybe we need to hit another one. Uh, we're going in for the pit here. There we go. And something's wrong with them. That one definitely should have ticked him off. All right, we got a blue cop up here. Let's hit this one, too. Okay. Boom. Huh? No? Yes? Uh, so, apparently something's kind of broken right now <laughs> in my game because that's uh, three cops we've hit, and we've gotten zero reaction out of them. Well, that's a thing. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and do a clean install because I think some of the, maybe the glitches and bugs you're seeing... Uh, could be potentially due to that or maybe a little bit to do with the new update. Uh, but overall, I'm really, really satisfied with the new car, uh, the new map. Even though we probably won't play with it that much, it's just really nice to see them uh, remaster those. So hopefully we'll keep seeing those in the future. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think about the new update. Hold on, we got a car we can crush here. And... Oh! <laughs> that looked like it hurt. Look how little front end damage we have. Uh, that's actually kind of amazing. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support. Let me know what you think about the update, and we'll uh, see you guys next time.